to the people come in la uh, on uh, sorry la uh, i have to let them come in first la uh. now later on uh, they will attack my handphone they can come in I'm recording the lesson, uh, class, uh, okay? Let you all know that uh, I'm recording the lesson because uh, some cannot join tonight one. So they requested, they want me to record and then they want to watch the video later on. So I'm, I just started to record now. Uh, I'm recording it now, okay? Okay. Yeah. Okay, uh. one more picture. Uh. Uh. Now Jocelyn, another one, Jocelyn, come in, Jocelyn, sizzling. Andrew. Yeah, okay, now let's look at the question now. Huh? Okay, can you see the question or not? Can I? Right, look at question number one. Uh, this is your form five, chapter one, correct not? Chapter one, huh? You see how uh, when I can to see people want to come in, two of them. Yvesh, Juan Ho. Okay, this question, let's look at this question now. Uh. Question shows this is a pattern pendulum. This is a pattern pendulum. Huh? There are five pendulums here. W, X, Y, Z, and Q. Uh, now another one come in. Okay, right. First question. Why do the other pendulum start to oscillate when Q is two? Okay, first uh, we pull this one, pull this one to oscillate. Okay, make this one to oscillate. Lah. Right. Okay, when this one started to oscillate, right? Najib, why you raise your hand now? Uh? Uh, Najib, who is Najib by the way? Uh? Uh, can you tell me your identity? Uh? Who is Najib? Uh? Uh? You want to answer me? Okay, can you me, answer sir, me? Me, sir. Yala, who? What's your name? Anika. Sanjib, sir. Sanjib, you put your name now, why you put Najib? <laughs> Okay, Sanjeev, can you answer this question? Why do the other pendulum start to oscillate when Q is pull and release? Uh, this one, uh, we pull and release. Why the other also start to oscillate? What is the reason? Too much question. Why? Um, why? Yuan -en, Tan Yuan -en, can you answer why? Why when Q started to oscillate, uh, why W, X, Y, Z, all this also oscillate? Why? Uh, why? All these people now come in and catch up one. Uh, why? Okay. Uh, uh, you, know, you try now. Why the other pendulums also start to oscillate? Uh, you know? Because of resonance. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay, actually it's like this. La. Uh, let me explain first. Uh. When this pendulum Q oscillate, right? So this, oscill this uh, pendulum will gain uh, kinetic energy. So this kinetic energy that uh, will then follow the trade, go up here, you follow up. Uh, and then the energy is passed to here. And then this one start to oscillate. La. So the energy keep on passing, passing one by one. So eventually, uh, all the pendulum oscillate. Understand? It's because of energy. Huh? Okay, let's look at the answer. Uh, okay, you have a pen, uh, take a piece of paper, copy down. Uh. Okay, the answer is like this. Uh. Right, the answer is energy is transferred from the pendulum q to other pendulum okay the keyword here is energy huh? 
energy is transferred from pendulum Q to other pendulum Sa. Okay, understand? Right? Right, now second question. So first question is something to do with the energy. Lah. Okay, second part. What is the name given to the oscillation pendulum W, X, Y, Z? Only 44. Only. What is the name given to the oscillation of this pendulum? Okay, this one is driving pendulum. Okay, we will start with this one. Then the rest also will, will receive energy, will oscillate and all. So this oscillation uh, is given the name force oscillation. Okay, you see the answer now. Uh? Force oscillation. So remember that uh? force oscillation is because uh, the only energy come and then force them to oscillate. So we call it force oscillation. Okay, uh? okay. see. Which pendulum will oscillate with the maximum amplitude? Give a reason. Okay, I'm sure you know the answer already, right? Because uh, Q and I think Y, right? Y, they have the same length, right? So same length, so they will oscillate with the maximum amplitude, lah, right? Okay, check the answer. Y will oscillate with maximum amplitude. Now see got people come in. No? Why will oscillate with maximum amplitude? Okay. The reason is because they have the same length, right? So the natural frequency of Y equal to the driving frequency of Q. Okay, I told you right just now. The frequency of Y and the Q are because they have the same length. So their natural frequency also the same. Okay. And last, of course, no need to see the question, you know the answer already. Right? It's resonant. Okay, the phenomenon is resonant. Okay, resonant now uh, where the oscillation is having maximum amplitude. So we call it resonant. Okay, okay, now question number two. Okay, so far, can you all follow or not? Can or not? Can hear, can see or not? Can, sir. Can, uh, okay, now question number two. This is a uh, A trout, another one coming. Now, how many students already? How many of you? You not see here like, because it's presenting. Another one coming. Why you, why you all cannot on time one? Okay. Okay. Figure is a diagrammatic pictures of simple wave motion. You see, are going up, down, up, down like this, right? So this is the direction of vibration. This is the direction of propagation now moving from left to right, right? Okay, what is meant by wave motion? What is that? Wave motion is what? Wave motion means uh, something like people ask you, what is wave flag? Okay, so in fact, uh, the wave is a form of energy, correct or not? Okay, let's see the answer now. Nah. Okay, copy the answer now. Nah. Wave motion is a transfer of energy from one location to another location without transfer of matter. Understand? It's a method of transferring the energy from one location to another location nah, without transfer of matter. Matter means referring to the particles. Nah. The molecule, the particles are not moving one now. They're only vibrating. They only pass the energy only, but the molecules stay at the same position. That's why we call them without a transfer of matter. Transfer of energy, but without transfer of matter. Huh? Understand? Huh? Right, next. Another one come in. Don't forget this go in, go out, go in, go out one way. Okay, D1. State whether the wave is transverse or longitudinal. Which one? Transverse or longitudinal? Huh? Let's see who uh, I want to call their name now. Hui Xin. Okay, Hui Xin. Uh, this is transverse or longitudinal wave. Hui Xin, are you there? What is the answer? Huh? Hui Xin. Transverse. Yes, correct. Very good answer. So this is transverse la, because uh, yeah. it's moving up, 
down up down mean na the direction of vibration na going up and down right okay and direction of propagation is left to right right so they are 90 degree you see or not vibration and propagation na perpendicular another one for the coming ah okay ah so check the answer lah to confirm ma. Okay, the answer is transverse. Okay. Right, next question. Give a reason uh, why we say this is transverse. The reason I already mentioned just now, lah, but you have to know what uh, the direction of vibration is perpendicular to the direction of propagation. So remember the point. Always remember this. Huh? Okay. Direction of vibration of particles is perpendicular to the direction of propagation, so it's called transverse. Huh? Okay, another type of wave huh, is called longitudinal, correct? Not? Longitudinal wave means the direction of vibration is parallel to the direction of propagation. When they are parallel, right? Direction of vibration and direction of propagation, when they are parallel, so we call them longitudinal. Huh? Not transverse, huh? Okay, next question. Let's see, uh, last part of the question. If the wave have a frequency of 2 hertz, mark on the diagram L, travel by the wave in one second. Okay, one second, uh, the frequency is 2 hertz. Uh. Okay, frequency 2 hertz means is one. Uh. 2 hertz means, uh, do you listen carefully? Uh, 2 hertz means, two complete oscillation in one second. In one second, you can make two complete oscillation. So we call it two hertz. So how to mark? Mark it with the L. Two complete oscillation in one second. Okay, like this. Uh, complete is like here to here is one, two. Okay, so so here, uh, so here is L. Ah, uh, my line is not straight, uh, so it's here. Uh. Mm. So this is L, two complete oscillation, one, two, right? In two seconds, in one second, sorry, check the answer. Uh, no answer given, you say like that. L equal to the distance of two wavelength, two lambda, la, you understand? Two complete oscillation, la. okay? Any parts also can, uh, you just mark two complete oscillation as L, okay? Uh? So far, okay or not? Huh? So far, can you all follow everyone? Julian, yes. Julian, can you follow the lesson now, uh, Julian? Huh? Uh, yes, yes. yes. And, uh, Brian, Brian, can you hear? Uh, Brian? Yes. Yeah. Uh, okay, now. Uh. New New Junzi can follow or not? Yeah. Hey, hey. Hey, yeah. <laughs> okay, lah. Okay, I I need to drink a little bit water first, yeah. Okay, excuse me. Right. Let's uh, move on now. Uh. Okay, come. Next one is question number three. Okay, this question. Uh, this is longitudinal wave. Uh, like this is longitudinal wave. Okay, but what is mean by longitudinal wave? Okay, let's, uh, I see I watch someone to answer the question now. Uh. Uh, another one coming, Ryan. Okay. Okay, what is meant by longitudinal? I told you just now, right? Direction of vibration, particular to the direction of propagation. So check the answer, huh? Okay, longitudinal wave is a wave which the waves particles oscillating in the direction perpendicular, uh, sorry, parallel to the direction of motion, huh? Okay, parallel, okay? Direction of vibration of the particles parallel to the direction of propagation. Okay, huh? right. Next. 
เห็นไหมตะเกียบเดี๋ยวอาร์ซีถูกมักนะ with the letter C represent compression R refraction โอเคเราอ๋อที่สมัยนี้สิมเพิร์ลละ then mark the diagram distance equal to wavelength one wavelength one lambda โอเค so you just check the answer ละฮะอ๋อ here is refraction compression refraction compression right where is lambda lambda is not here หรอก lambda is where นะฮะยันอันเขาถูกมากแต่ลัมดาเยอะอ่ะนิวนิวจุนซื่อเขาถูกมากแต่ลัมดาเยอะลัมดาอีสองเมตรอยู่เว้ยอ่ะโอเคลัมดาอีสองอ่าสามารถมากเลยดี C to C right C to compression to compression is one lambda, okay? Oh, ah, yes, yes. Ah, who mark it now? By the way, I cannot see that. Who mark it just now? This one is not correct, no. Ah, ah. Then then you mark one ah C to C. Okay, C to C or yes, this is also correct. Ah to ah, refraction to refraction is one lambda. Okay, compression to compression is also one lambda. Yes, correct. Okay, and last I think given example right. They ask you to give example. Okay, example like longitudinal wave right. Only one only sound wave. So remember that ah. So only one example in your syllabus. Sound wave. Only sound travel like this. Understand? Travel parallel to the direction of propagation one. Example is sound wave ah. Okay ah. All right, question number four. Next, I want you to read the question first. Read, read it now. Ah, so you got someone come in the Mafusa. Now only come in the Mafusa. Ah, for Muslim friends, ah, start puasa is tomorrow, isn't it? Tomorrow start puasa, right? Right now, tomorrow's first day of puasa, lah. Correct, lah. Okay. Yes. So, salam, ah, salam Ramadan to my Muslim student here, na, okay? Alright. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay. Question number four. Figure show water wave being generated. Ah, this is water wave. We see the water move up, down, up, down. This is deep area. Ah, the water is deep, you know. Then here you got something under the water, right? So here becomes shallow. The water is shallower, right? So you notice here, nah, in the deep region, nah, the lambda bigger. You see, nah, lambda is big. This one is lambda, right? Lambda is big. And Eric, now we come in this Eric. Okay, then when go to shallow region, nah, you see the lambda become smaller, right? Not the lambda become smaller, right? So this is the first thing you not notice, lah. Deep region, the lambda is big. When come here, the lambda become small, right? Okay, another different things you can see here is what? Besides this one lambda big, this one lambda small, can see one. If you cannot see one, you will say. Okay, you notice or not? This one become taller, right not? Taller means that the amplitude become bigger, you know. Here shorter, the amplitude smaller. When go to shallow region, now the amplitude is bigger, you know. I mean just for this diagram only now. Huh? Okay, now state two changes. Okay, two. Ah, my life is very broke, lah. My my hand, how hard to control the mouse, lah. Huh? Okay, two changes. So one is okay. Now confirm with the answer, lah. Ah, first wavelength becomes smaller, right? First one wavelength becomes smaller. The the other one is the amplitude become bigger. I told you, right? One is. Wavelength becomes smaller. The second one is a lambda become bigger. Okay, right. Lambda become bigger. Lam ah mini is because ah. Let me explain to you lah. Why here? Okay, because this area lah become shallower, right? So the water come here suddenly lah. Find it very shallow. Shallow means ah the energy ah will be focus here. You know the energy of the wave ah the focus here. 
when the energy focus here are more energy right so the amplitude become bigger lah, because the amplitude reflecting the energy so the energy become bigger so it become taller it's because the energy because suddenly they find it very shallow so the, all the energy focus here so the lump amplitude become bigger okay huh? okay p if the frequency are oscillating deeper uh, linear deeper the one this one uh, touching the water one to stop water produce a wave uh, five hertz wavelength the deep area is four here is four uh, and wavelength the zero here is three okay calculate the speed what formula you have frequency you have lambda what formula find the speed of deep area and not a fellow coming dr mahadu now the name become this is funny, funny What's name. Just now, on? Najib, now this name is Dr. Mahadi Muhammad. Huh? Little Muhyiddin come in now. Thank you. Uh, later on, Muhyiddin come in. <laughs> okay. Now, to find the speed, to find the speed, of course, you have to... Okay, we know that now uh, the frequency here. Ah, uh, yes, correct. This, this formula lah, uh, we go to F lambda, right? But you cannot use just a uh, one only, you know, because ah, uh, you have deep, you have shallow, right? We know that the frequency here, frequency here are the same. Okay, we go to F lambda. Then F frequency is V divided by lambda, correct? Not so V divided by lambda here. And V divided by lambda here are the same. Okay, so we see the answer now. How they answer now? Uh, first, just find V go to F lambda la. This one is in uh, deep region, right? Lambda is four. Frequency is five. So twenty, right? And the second part is uh, find the speed in the shallow region, right? Is actually using uh, v1 over lambda 1 equal v2 over lambda 2 la, huh? use the formula so it's 3 over 4 times 20 okay the, the speed uh, becomes slower one when lambda becomes small so the speed also becomes smaller okay v go to f lambda okay so when the lambda becomes small the v also small so in the shallow region is 3 over 4 la, 3 divided by 4 huh? okay the lambda is 3 over 4 times 20 okay right now huh? okay question number five ah, read the question don't jumping here ah, just read only i know some of you many of you jumping 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 <laughs> okay figure shows the arrangement of young stable sleep uh, stable sleep is here uh, one here one here, right? Young stable sleep experiment. Rick filter. Ah, this is a filter. Rick I filter. Oh, don't jump in, lah, please. Lah, huh? Rick filter okay. used to produce a monochromatic light. Okay. This one is monochromatic light. Huh? Okay, so this is a rig filter producing red color. Huh? So you have double slit here. Then this is screen. So on the screen, now you see the result like that. Okay, this one is when you are using red light. This light is red color. Putting the filter, red filter, right? Red color. Then you see the result, something like that. So you can see dark, bright, dark, bright, dark, and bright fringes, right? They are bigger, right? Bigger, and then the distance is further la, for red. Then after that, they use a blue, blue fringes, blue light. They put here, and then go through then you see the result here so it become like this also the same but the only different now is they are narrower they have become closer okay why the red one is further the blue color one is closer and why why is it like that one huh? okay the, let me explain a little bit to you first now nah. we have this formula now nah. This kind of experiment we have lambda equal to ax over t something like that, right? Okay, now my red fringes are red light. The lambda is bigger. Yes, the lambda is big. 
So the lambda is big, right? So the distance between two consecutive dark fringes, uh, okay? This one is X, actually. This one is X. Someone is talking there. Uh, who is talking? Uh? This one is X. Uh. Okay? The formula is lambda equal a x over can someone tell me what lambda equal to a x over what over d ah huh? lambda equal to ah d big d so lambda equal to a x over big d ah huh? okay lambda big red light red color light the lambda is big blue color lambda smaller one don't ask me why it's like that one okay Red line, the lambda is big. When lambda is big, right, so the x is also big. Lah. Correct, not directly proportional. Ma. Lambda big, the x is also big. That's why you see the x is big. Right? Here, blue line, the lambda is small. You see lambda small, so the x is also small. That's why this distance is shorter. Correct, not? Okay, huh? uh, now we go answer the question. What is monochromatic line? Monochromatic means what? Huh? Many times already I mentioned what is motto? Only one color. Yeah, one color, one wavelength, one lambda, right? Not? Let's see the answer. Lah. Okay, monochromatic means light with single wavelength, one lambda, lah. one color, one wavelength, right? Okay, huh? okay, now second question. State two differences between two interference patterns. Are these interference or not? You know, not? Because, ah, uh, here got one wave come out here. You see this one slit. Like, actually, I cannot draw very hard to draw here. One, two, three. Okay, the other one come out from here. One, two, three. So the interference now. Because uh, these two waves, right, the clash, interfere. So got interference. So the result you see on the screen. So it's like this. Huh? So this is interference pattern, you know. They ask you to give two differences. Uh, how to give two differences? Why so many errors? We don't join thing that way. Uh, don't join thing there, please. Uh, erase it, erase it, don't join thing. Uh, two differences between the interference. Okay, let's see the answer. Let's check the answer. Uh, two differences. Okay, the first one is interference pattern of blue light has smaller fringe, smaller separation. Smaller fringe separation and has more fringes. Huh? Can I not? So this one is two already. Huh? One is fringes, the separation is smaller, blue light. The other one is blue light has more fringes, more. Okay, you can see the diagram, more fringes. Can I not? Okay, huh? so this one is answer. Okay, next. Compare the wavelength of red light and blue light. Okay, you know lah. Red, good and blue. Correct right, not? The answer lah. Now, red light has bigger wavelength. Okay. Next. State the relation between the wavelength and distance between the fringes. Mean the lambda. Wavelength is a lambda, right? This is lambda. Okay. And distance is a x lah. Okay. What is the relation between lambda and x? Huh? Asher core. What is the relation between the lambda and the x? The distance between the fringes? Uh, lambda and x. Lambda and x. What is the relation? Uh? Huh? No answer. Uh. Okay, uh. I think it's directly proportional, right? Uh. Separation of fringes is directly proportional to the wavelength. Please la, don't jointing my, my whiteboard here. Separation of fringes is directly proportional to the wavelength. Okay? Okay, huh? At least erase. Those who jointing one, erase it. Slowly. Slowly, huh? There's a button, I think, uh, to stop you from jointing one. You know? <laughs> huh? No time to go find the button. Uh -huh. Okay, next. Name the wave phenomenon. Okay, this is uh, interference. Uh -huh. Answer here interference. 
Next, describe the appearance of fringes if color filter is removed. Ah, this is a very good question. The high, hot, high order thinking skill question, you know. Uh, thank you uh, when you remove your this uh, jumping. Uh, this one you know, like uh, interference. Okay, here. Describe the appearance of fringes if the color filter is removed. Okay, you see now, uh, let me come back here. When you remove this color filter, this color filter, remove, right? The purpose of the color filter uh, is to produce monochromatic light. When you put red, red color here, only red light come out. When you put blue filter, only the blue light come out. Now you remove it. You remove it, and uh, what happened? So the light become not monochromatic, become seven colors. Light consisting seven different colors, correct? Not? Okay, what happened now? Light with seven colors come here. So what happened now? So that's a, the that's a meaning of the question. No, I ask you what happened. Huh? Appearance of the fringes if the color filter is removed. Okay, remove means uh, seven different colors go through the double slit. So each color will have its own interference, right? So all mix up. So end up, okay, you see the answer now. Huh? All the fringes will have rainbow color, seven color, la, rainbow color, la, mix up already. All the fringes will have rainbow color except the meter bright fringe, which is white. Okay. The center one see white because uh, the center one is the one go direct through the whole one. Okay. The rest are all project or become mixed up, become seven colors, like rainbow. La. All fringes they are rainbow color, seven colors uh, except the middle one. The middle one is still bright. Okay. Yeah. So far, okay or not? Huh? You don't, okay, so far? Okay, okay. Uh, sing in, so far, okay or not? Sing in, uh, disappeared already. <laughs> Andrew, how are you? Yeah. No I, so far can or not, can follow or not, no I. Aisha? Can. Kirtana, can follow? Yeah. Can I? Jocelyn, Jocelyn Lee, okay or not? Ah, Jocelyn. Can. Okay, can. Can. Leo, are you there? Leo, no sound already, okay, Elisa? Can, can, can. Elisa, okay or not? Okay. Okay, ah. Uh. You can see the name, cannot see the name now, only I can see now, ah. Uh. Okay. Let's uh, move on, ah. Uh. Okay, question number six. Now, study the diagram carefully, okay? Especially, uh, look at P is what, Q is what, R is what, okay? Diagram show the interference patterns of two coherent R. Uh, this word you must know, you know. What is the meaning of coherent? Okay? Coherent source, mean uh, this source one, Source two are coherent one, okay? Formed by two spherical dipper, the two balls are touching the water to produce a wave fan, okay? Each of the circular line represent a crest, means that all these lines are crest, okay? Trough I never show here, you know, we need a crest only, okay? Right, some, some fellow going to help me to color it some more. The hand very easy, like you all. <laughs> huh? Okay, A. What is meant by coherent? Coherent is what? What is meant by coherent? Kirtana. Coherent is what? <clears throat> uh, same. 
akhir tanah koheren is what what is mean by two coherent sources Jocelyn Lee what is coherent ah uh, Jocelyn Xing Xiang Yao Xing Xiang what is coherent ah uh, Xing Xiang what is two coherent sources what is that um coherent means what Huh? What is meant by two coherent sources? Two design and design they say is coherent not. What is coherent now? Okay, coherent means ah, uh, the two wave are uh, exactly the same one, exactly the same lah, uh, exactly the same in terms of the lambda, in terms of their frequency, all same one. Hey. Don't chanting, please. Okay. Yeah. Let's see the answer. Lah, huh? Okay. Coherent sources are two sources of oscillation which have a constant phase different. Okay. Constant phase different uh, means uh, the timing, uh, the different or the timing are uh, same one. Okay, another meaning is they have the same frequency, they have the same wavelength, everything same la, same amplitude. So we call them coherent. You, yeah, you may not need to follow this answer la. You say coherent sources are two forces of oscillation which have the same wavelength, same frequency, right not? Right, same amplitude. Huh? Okay, ah, huh? uh, P, I can see same frequency, no? See the give the answer. See frequency. You don't need to see the question already. They ask you what is the meaning now. Say same frequency, right? Okay. How can you ensure the two sources are current? So same frequency lah. The frequency must be the same, huh? Okay. Now C and D. You look at it one shot. Types of interference. P Q R. What is name given to the point P Q R? Okay, now you all look at the diagram, try to answer first. Types of interference, P, Q, R. Huh? What types of interference? Okay, there are two types of interference, right? One is constructive. You remember or not? Constructive. Constructive means uh, crest and crest, or trap and trap, they collide, right? So we call it constructive. Whereas destructive uh, is one crest and one trap collide. So it's called destructive, the destroy. Okay. Now, P is what you see here. P is constructive or destructive. Alisa, Alisa Tan. P, uh, P is constructive or destructive. Do someone, what is called? Destructive. Yes, destructive. This is a uh, crash. This is trap. Okay, destructive lah. Huh? Hey, please lah. Don't disturb the paper, can or not? So this is destructive. Ah, uh, erase it. Erase it, please. Thank you very much. Huh? Okay. Here is destructive. Okay. Here, Elisa. Q is what? Uh, constructive. Constructive, like constructive. crest and crest line. Uh, this one, uh, yes. be careful. Uh, R is what? Xingxiang, R is what? Constructive or destructive? R. Destructive. No, you check one more time. Here, uh, here is, uh, this is trough, right? Trough. Trough is here. And here is also a trough, you know. So they mean now uh, trough and trough. So here is constructive. Understand? Okay, let's check the answer. Uh, okay. P destructive. Q constructive. R constructive. Okay, huh? Okay, the next one is ask you to name the point. Uh, P is what point? 
Q is what point? R is what point? Huh? Okay. Tan Chai Yong, I see now only come in this fellow. Twin brother, Tan Chai Yong, Tan Chai Liang. Tan Chai Liang, they are not. Huh? Tan Chai Yong, Tan Chai Liang. Not so, too many students, I cannot see that. Huh? Okay, check the answer straight away. A is not, okay? Not Q is anti not R is anti not Okay, now can you tell me what is not what is anti not what is anti not huh? For zooming, okay, zooming. Can you tell me what is not not is what? Huh? Not For zooming. The point where the huh? total displacement is zero. Uh, the total displacement is zero. Where destructive con destructive interference happen, isn't it? Destructive interference, huh? When they destroy already, so become zero, no more embryo, zero embryo. Then uh, anti node is what? Nixon, Nixon Chan. Embryo is uh, anti node is what? Ah, uh, Nixon. Nixon, uh, what is anti node? Ah, uh? uh, this fellow Tungwa Turaman. Okay, Tungwa Turaman, can you answer? Uh? What is anti node? Ah, tunggu atau raman? Fasli When the answer. amplitude is maximum. Yes, the amplitude is maximum. Constructive interference. Oh, tunggu atau raman. Ha? You know, nama dia tunggu atau raman. <laughs> Nasi baik, nuhidin tak ada masuk. Ha? Now tan cai liang. Now just now tan cai yong, now tan cai liang kanin two of them. Yang ana. Why you want to ask what? Are you raise your hand? You are not. Okay. Number seven. Uh, let me ask you something first, lah. Huh? Okay, let I call your name. You answer that now, now, please, ah. Huh? Okay. When I call you, let me show you answer. Huh? Tan Wei Yi, are you there? Tan Wei Yi? Yes. Tan Wei Yi, yeah. can you tell me what is uh, anti node? Anti node is what? Anti node is a point where. Huh? Post Hello? Yeah, yeah, I can. I'm, I'm listening here. And you know this a point? Yes, correct, it's a point. It's a point, what happens? Huh? Please shut up! <laughs> Don't scold people, huh? Don't scold people, huh? Right, Tan? Okay, now my now I ask uh, Xiao Xiao Ka Kim. What is anti not uh, Xiao Ka Kim? Xiao, are you there? Huh? Xiao? Xiao, very shy one. I think she disappeared. Very shy one. No? Okay, Chiu Tong, can you answer what is anti not Chiu Tong? Uh, ah, ah, you don't very steady. Anti not. Anti not is a point which have amplitude maximum. Got maximum and minimum point. Ah, maximum or minimum amplitude lah. Where what ah. what type of interference happen there? Constructive. Yes, correct. Constructive interference happen right. Okay. Ah, uh, the other one is ah. Uh, not Eric, are you there? Eric, Eric, yes, ah, Eric, ah, what is not now? Ah? Ah, ah, not, not, ah. Ah, not 
Just now and think uh, now, not not is what. Ah, uh, uh, point of minimum amplitude. <laughs> Zero and preview, not minimum. And zero. zero. Huh? Because uh, one crash, one trap cancel already. So no more and preview. So you should say zero and preview. Okay, wait. Fractive interference happen now. Okay, huh? right? Okay, Poon, next one is you. Poon. Poon WQ. Okay, Poon, are you there? Uh, Poon? Uh, yes. Una. Un, can you tell me now? Uh, what happened to the wave when moving from deep water to shallow water? Un. I repeat my question now. Uh. What happened to the water wave when traveling from deep water to shallow water? What happened? Uh. Apuna, water travel from deep water to shallow water. What happened? Huh? Huh? Okay, now my ask another follow. Aisha, are you there? Huh, Aisha? Yes, sir. Yes. Yeah. Can you tell me that? What happened to the water wave when moving from deep to shallow? What happened, Aisha? Wave length becomes smaller. Yeah, correct. One is wave length becomes smaller. Any more thing can happen? Amplitude become bigger. Yes, very good answer. Aisha is good, you see? She's a good girl. <laughs> uh, Aisha? Yeah? Okay, I... Young, you just come in, uh, Young, uh, Harry. Yeah, la. Yeah. Wi-Fi lag, la, just now. Okay, no, la. Uh, sorry, yeah. sorry. <laughs> yeah, never mind, uh, huh? Okay, la, let's move on to next question, uh, We carry on, uh. Okay. Mm. So, today do for revision, ah? Uh? Yes, revision is important, now. Okay, you yeah. must prepare already, now. Yeah, okay? yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, yeah, I know, I know. Uh, <laughs> Next week, uh, maybe I will start a new chapter already. Uh. It's either doing revision for electricity or I start chapter 3, electromagnetic. Okay. All right, question 7. Can you read? read the, wait, don't jump in, please. please. Your hand so easy one. Sanjeev, are you the one? I think Sanjeev was the one. Uh, always jumping, jumping. Ah, uh, uh, Sanjeev, are you there? Ah, Sanjeev, disappeared already. Expose, expose. Okay, number seven. Nah. Figure show two identical speaker. One here, one here. Nah. Connected to an audio generator. This is audio generator. The two speakers are paid like coherent. I see the word coherent come out again. Coherent sources. Ah, same one now. Uh, these two ah. Uh. Okay. So when the sound, wait, please lah. Don't do that lah. Now you become this. You make you very angry, angry already. You raise it, please. Ah. Uh. Okay. When the sound wave travel around uh, one here, so the sound will travel right. So another one also come out from here. So the two waves are uh, that we collide. So you have interference once again. So interference produce a result. We can see the result here, long loud, mm. wave, loud and big sound, isn't it? Right? Yes. So the result of interference of sound is you hear loud and big sound, lah. Huh? Okay, ah. Huh? I think siapa punya tangan nakal betul tu, huh? <laughs> Okay, huh? a student walk along the line here, okay, 15 cm. Please, lah, don't stop them or not, okay? You hear a loud sound and a big sound, okay, here, lah. Wait, please erase. Okay, now, 
what is meant by coherent again so what come out what is meant by coherent are uh, those who like with John Ping one uh, please give some cooperation can or not don't do that I uh, don't disturb la. Uh, attention seeker you know you want to get attention from some other people okay <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. So you, you, are making your, you make your friends uh, don't listen to me, you know, because uh, you keep chanting there, uh, everyone you look at, look at there, they don't listen to me. Uh. Now, please, can I not? Thank you. Uh. Yes. Okay. okay. What is meant by coherent? Uh, coherent is what? Coherent means uh, the sound wave are uh, same amplitude. Amplitude. Same wavelength, everything same. Uh, huh? What we said, you see the answer here. Coherent are two oscillating sorts. We have the constant phase different, the timing different. Con the different or the timings are constant. But when the timing constantly different, uh, it will make them having the same lambda, same frequency, and same amplitude. Huh? Come back to the same things. Huh? All right, next, they ask you to calculate the lambda, right? Not? Yes. Okay, to find lambda, the formula is lambda AXD. Uh, AX over what? D. AX over, don't see my X. D. Uh, D yeah. <laughs> really cute. Uh, right? Okay, where is the A? Can you tell me where is the A? A is where? A is here, can I not? The separation between the sources are A is here now, two. X is here. Uh, where is X? Uh? Yong, Yong, can you tell me where is X? Uh? X is count from where to where? Uh? X, uh, you count from Lao to Lao, right? Or you count from Wake Sao to Wake Sao. Please, la the fellow. This is wrong. This is stupid. I uh, use the word stupid. S T U B I D. Huh? X is here. Lao to Lao or weak to weak. Huh? Okay. Ah, huh? uh, here got how many X? Can you calculate how many X are there? How many X here? There you see. Ah, huh? Lao to Lao is one, Eight. two, three. Four, okay, four X, isn't it? So here is four X. Uh, four X equal to six point eight. So one X is how much? Uh, you do yourself, uh, huh? So X is six point eight divided by four, so you get one point. One point seven, I think supposed to be one point seven, uh, correct not? One point seven, huh? So x is 1.7. Okay, so you put a to x 1.7. D is a separation distance here, 15 meter. Okay, then put inside the formula lah. Huh? So you get the answer. Now you see here, 2 times 1.7 d is 15, so 0 0.227 meter. So this is the answer lah. Huh? Okay. Next question. The loud sound is caused by constructive interference. Okay, this one you know, huh? Loud sound is because constructive interference happens, so the sound becomes very loud, right? State the condition for constructive, uh, this is something new for you all, huh? Condition for constructive interference to all happen. So, what is the condition for constructive interference to happen next? Eh? I'll give you the tips, huh? The condition is they must be coherent. Right? The source uh, must be coherent. Then only uh, constructive or destructive can happen one in all. Okay? So, check the answer. Uh, constructive interference occur when all, they give the answer like this. Uh. Constructive occur when two waves meet in phase. Meet in phase means uh, the timing same. Uh. Okay? Or when crest meet with another crest okay crest or one way meet with another crest or one wave huh? okay huh? so the answer okay huh? 
please la this one la. Okay. Right next. The weak sound caused by destructive. Okay, now condition for destructive. Okay, I follow the answer to sound. We say destructive interference is one crash and one trough collide. Right now, you see the answer now. Okay, destructive interference occur when two wave meet in empty phase. Uh, empty phase now. Empty phase means different now. One is crash, uh, one is trough, <laughs> so it's empty phase huh? All right, next, last. Hmm. What is the effect of increasing the frequency? So you need to think, huh? When you increase the frequency, okay, you remember or not? When the frequency, frequency go up, huh? Frequency go up, what happened to the lambda? Huh? Frequency go up, what happened to the lambda? When you see this formula, uh, V go to F lambda, no need to see so much. Uh. You see V go to F lambda. When frequency increases, what happened to the lambda? Huh? Frequency increases, V go to F lambda. Uh. You see uh, F and lambda. Ah, correct. This is good. Uh, this is good job. Decreases, right? So, what is the effect? They ask you effect, you know. Effect means uh, you, you can hear one. Uh. So what is the answer here? This is a sound, right? When lambda decreases, then what happens? Uh? Lambda decreases. Lambda decreases. Okay. What is the effect here? Must be here. You, see, uh, you look at the formula here. When lambda becomes small, what happened to the x? Because uh, a and d are uh, this one fixed, man, never change. Son. a and d never change. Only when lambda becomes small, frequency increase. The lambda becomes small, right? Lambda small, right? What happened to the x? X is here, uh, What happened to the x? Uh, directly proportional. Like this one go in, go out, go in, go out. Another fellow come in. Okay, when lambda decreases, the x also becomes smaller, correct not? So x becomes smaller means uh, the distance between the loud and loud become closer. Understand? Okay, check the answer. Separation of loud sound decreases. Okay, understand? Uh? Separation of loud sound decreases, the x decreases. Lah. Okay, last. Calculate the wavelength of the sound, find the lambda. Okay, lambda use this formula lo. a divided by t. Okay, can someone calculate in one minute? Tell me the answer. Lambda equal to a x over t. Huh? Hello. So what answer? Hello. Huh? Hello. What is the answer? 0 0.227 0.227 227 ah. Okay, let's check the answer lah. 0 0.227 hey, No answer Separation of loud sound increases No answer here in your mind lah. I think it's correct lah. 0 0.227 Why right, this answer like that one? I look at the question, what the question asks? Oh, here, sorry. You see, wrong question already. You say, what is the effect when decreasing the distance between the two loudspeakers? Decreasing the distance, okay? Means I make the A smaller. Decreasing the distance between the two loudspeakers means here, okay? Make the two loudspeaker la, smaller, get closer. When here closer, la, what happened to the distance here? Okay, when this one is small, what happened to the X? Okay, A and X are what relation? Actually, the A you bring down is here, right? A is bottom, X is up here, so they are 
inversely proportional, meaning that uh, when the A getting smaller, right, the X will become bigger. Remember, you know, when here the loud speaker, you put them closer, uh, A smaller. The X are uh, loud and loud become further, okay? Weak and weak also become further. Uh, decide the answer. The separation of loud sound increases, okay? Uh? Okay, one more question. Okay, now we rest a while first. So far, how are? Uh, huh? Kelvin, Kelvin now. Uh, so far, how can you listen or not? Uh, okay, okay. Okay, now. Okay, uh. Kerin, Tan Kerin, okay or not? Huh? Tan Kerin, no sound. Huh? Okay or not? So far. Can Ming, Ku Can Ming, so far okay or not? Can follow? Can, can. Can, huh? No, Farah, Farahana, okay or not? So a standard M MCQ uh, another two more weeks. So I don't know when y'all can go back to school uh, from five students now. Uh. Okay. I think uh, most probably uh, after your Hari Raya, only you all can go back to school. You know? Only from five can go back. From four, from, from one to from four cannot go back. No, we need to from five students go back. Okay. So the from five students go back, uh, but you all cannot sit in the in the same class, you know. So one classroom uh, can put only about 10 students only. Uh, so you all see that uh, when you go back to school, so Susa, uh, you know how. Huh? Since I am the only one talking here, nobody answer me one here. And Yun Su? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yes, yes, sir. Uh, now Mu Yidin come in already. Uh, the Mu Yidin face are come in. Uh, just now, just now Baru talk. Huh? Just now who talk? Okay, la. one more question now before to the last question. Okay, uh, the last question now is the AC question, you know. Okay. Uh, yeah. Figure 8.1, 8.2 show plane wave. Okay. The water wave moving through the gap. Uh, you see how uh, this gap is big. Okay. Show plane wave produced by linear people oscillating in the ripple tank passing through a gap formed by two strict barrier. Figure 8.1 show passing through a wide gap. Okay. The gap is bigger. Figure 8.2 show this one, the gap is smaller. Okay, what you can see here, la, when the gap is big, right? You see now, the wave are only curve a little bit, only curve less. Okay, when the gap is small, right? It curve a lot, it curve more, right? Okay, this is called what? Anyone can tell me? When water pass through a gap, so the water wave get spread out, it's spread out. So this is what? The spreading of the wave when it passes through a gap, that is called what? Uh, uh, Yuanon, what is that? Yong, what is that? Uh, diffraction of waves. Yes, it's diffraction, correct? Diffraction of wave, uh, uh, this is diffraction. Yeah? 
So meaning that uh, this diffraction here is not obvious. This diffraction is more obvious. Okay. Okay. Huh? Right now, A1. Still got people coming or no? Then go in, go out, go in, go out, go in, go out. And, uh, huh? Okay. Still a formula relating the speed the wavelength and the frequency. So what is the formula relating? V go to F lambda, you know the answer already. Lah, huh? V go to F lambda, huh? check the answer. The formula is V go to F lambda. Lah. This one, huh? very familiar already. Lah. Okay, second question. Okay, second question. Huh? Compare the wave pattern, see the wave pattern and the wavelength, you see the wavelength before and after pass through the gap. Okay, so you are supposed to compare the pattern. Pattern is one curve less, one curve more, no? something like that, right? And the lambda, lambda how? Lambda, I think no different, right? Under diffraction, the lambda got change one or not? I see here the lambda different, you know. Please stop. Hey. Who is doing that? Stop, please. Huh? It's not funny. La. Come here to learn, la. listen, la. don't disturb, okay? Right. Check the answer. La. Okay, the answer is like this. La. In figure 8.1, the first diagram, uh, the size of the gap bigger. You say size of the gap is bigger. Bigger than a wavelength. Okay, the gap is bigger than a wavelength of the water, right? In figure 8.2, the size of the gap smaller than the wavelength. Uh, this is comparing the wavelength. Uh. So in the first diagram, you say the gap bigger than a wavelength. In second diagram, the gap smaller than the wavelength. Okay. Third, the wavelength emerging from the big gap, big gap uh, have plain wave front. Actually, not brain, you know, it's curve less only. We said we cannot say it's plain, you know, it's slightly curved, right? That's how we see. Not plain, uh, it's slightly curved, curve less. This one curve less, uh, the wave. Okay, supposed to be. Big gap curve less, okay, curve less. And the other one, the wave emerging from the smaller gap have circular wave front. Uh, this is correct, uh, circular. Circular means uh, curve more. This one curve less. This one curve more, okay. And last part is a concept. When a wave passes through a gap, the wave bends. Bends, uh, bend, or we say spread spread out okay the smaller the gap the bigger the pending of wave gap the smaller the gap the bigger the spreading of the wave or we say the smaller the gap the bigger the diffraction of the wave okay so this answer now nah. all right next Third, this one a wave phenomena is diffraction. Nah. You know the answer. Nah. This diffraction. Nah. Okay, diffraction. Okay, P1. Sketch a displacement time graph. Okay, displacement time graph for particle when a wave pass through it. Again, please nah, stop. Okay. Sketch a displacement time graph when a wave pass through on your graph label the axis. Mark the period and radio. Uh, this one is uh, and radio uh, displacement time graph. How do you think? Okay, you see how uh, the water wave are when you move through the gap, uh, the lambda never change one, frequency never change. The only thing will change is what? Under diffraction, can you all tell me what will change? Huh? And then 
under diffraction now what will change ah uh? uh? okay ah uh, captain what will change under diffraction ah uh, lambda will change frequency never change so what will change velocity ah uh, but velocity can velocity will change now but velocity cannot show on the graph isn't it okay the one can show on the graph uh, is amplitude right now yes what is that it's an amplitude okay i want to ask you all uh, after diffraction uh, the amplitude become big or become small huh? small yes the amplitude becomes smaller please wait stop it please I think uh, this boy must be a boy. I cannot be a girl. Uh, you, you don't disturb the class like that, can or not? Okay, let's look at the graph. Uh. Uh, it's like that. Okay, here is displacement. Here is time, right? So you can see here the graph getting shorter and shorter, right? Okay, no one. Complete you. No, there is wrong already. You know, actually, the answer now uh, the amplitude should getting smaller, smaller, and smaller one. So the graph is wrong. Okay, don't copy this. Ah, uh. hey, it's supposed to be like this. Ah, uh. the amplitude are uh, here. At first, the amplitude is very big. Here, uh, the amplitude is supposed to become smaller one. Okay, after diffraction, uh, the amplitude becomes smaller. Understand? So it's supposed to be getting smaller and smaller lah. Okay, ah, huh? it's supposed to be like this lah. Huh? What is the purpose you doing that? Ah, huh? stop it lah, wait, please. Oh my boat now. Okay. At first it's supposed to be like that. Okay. We're getting smaller and smaller. Okay. So this is a center line. Uh -huh. The amplitude is supposed to get smaller and smaller. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh -huh. So you label a uh, period is here one complete oscillation. So this is period. Okay. And this is amplitude, right? Okay, the second graph. Scale the displacement distance graph. Okay, this one displacement distance. Uh, just now displacement time. Okay, now it will be the same now. Uh, it should be the same. The amplitude also becomes smaller one. Okay, this one amplitude. Here amplitude supposed to become smaller. Okay, ah. Uh, Right now, one complete oscillation. This is one lambda, so it's different and all. When this one is, can you stop it now, please? Okay, one complete oscillation. When this is time, this is period. Okay, when this is distant, right? This is no more period. This is lambda. Okay, lambda. Understand? One complete oscillation. The distance is one lambda. Understand? Ah, huh? so the difference is like this, lah. Okay, uh, so the two graph. So amplitude, here also amplitude, getting smaller. And this period, and then this one is lambda. Understand? All right, next. What is meant by wave front? Uh, this is a bit difficult question. Wave front is what? What is wave front? Aida, what is wave front? Uh, how are you, Aida? Aida, are you there? I don't know. <laughs> so your answer is don't know. Okay, never mind. Huh? Okay, wavefront actually is this one. You see, huh? 
the line, we draw the line to represent the wave granite. So we draw the line, the line you draw to represent the wave run, we call them wave run, okay? Wave run are those lines we draw. Okay, you see now, normally we draw the lines is either on the crest, or the crest we draw a line, or we draw a line on all the trough, right? Okay. Nonsense, they're doing nonsense. I hope your parent is beside you, you know, you are doing that, okay? When you come to online class, uh, you are doing such a nonsense, okay? Can you please uh, remove it? The court will know what you did, you know, actually, uh, you think nobody can see, huh? But the God is always there, okay? You remember, God will know everything we do, okay? So please uh, stop. I want you to stop, okay? You are not respecting your teacher, not respecting your other friends here, you know? Now what you do is you don't respect your teacher at all. Now you never respect your teacher, you never respect your friends, okay? So I hope you don't do it anymore, lah, huh? okay? Wave front is a line along the crest, you see? We draw the line along the crest or along the trough last, so we got it. Wave front, the lines are, okay? Wave front is a line along the crest of wave at a certain instant, okay? Right, last. A plain water moving toward a straight barrier in angle incident of 60 degree, huh? 60 degree. Draw a diagram to show the patterns of wave front before, after reflection. Uh, this is to show reflection. Okay. So the anchor incident is 60 degree. You are supposed to show the reflection. Okay. So I think it's quite simple. Uh, huh? Reflection. So reflection is like that. No. The anchor 60 is here. Okay. Anchor incident 60 is supposed to be here. No. What do you say? Uh? You see the question 60 is what? Anchor incident 60, right? So the anchor 60 is supposed to be here. Nah. Please label correctly nah, as it's here. This is 60. Nah. Okay. So the wave come, hit the barrier, get reflected. So when you draw this diagram, make sure that the anchor incident and the anchor reflection must be the same. The only criteria is these two anchor must be the same. Okay. Uh, you shouldn't use a total line, you know, must use a full line here, okay? And this one also use a full line, okay? Draw a line, then draw the water wave, uh, the, the wave, uh, okay, right? Okay, last part. Also drawing line. <clears throat> a plain water refracted, uh, this is refracted, you know? When it travel from shallow water, please, okay. Travel from shallow water to deep water is from shallow water to deep water, okay. From shallow to deep. So draw a diagram to show the patterns of wave front from shallow to deep, okay. I want to ask you now. When water moves from shallow to deep, or what phenomenon is that? Huh? Moving from shallow water to deep water, what phenomenon? Huh? Reflection. Yes, refraction. No, it's already here now. Oh. Refraction. What is refraction? Huh? What is refraction now? What is refraction? Yanon, what is reflection? Refraction. What is refraction now? Huh? Okay. Refraction means uh, is the wave changes direction. It gets bent. 
uh, when pen uh, changes direction, we call it refraction. Frac, F R A C. Chin direction. Uh, okay. Now, from shallow to deep, shallow water to deep water, what happened? From shallow water to deep water, uh, it will bend to which direction? Uh? Uh, from shallow to deep water, bend which direction? You don't? From shallow to deep water, uh, if you bend from what direction to what direction? Shallow water to deep water. Huh? Away from normal. Yes, correct. Away from normal. Okay. You bend away from normal. Now you see the contrast. So this is deep water. This is shallow. Right? So this is a normal line. Uh, the wave come up to that, then away from the normal. This is away from the normal, okay? So you bend away from the normal. Uh, this is normal. Uh, draw a line straight here, then away from to the normal. Then only you draw the wave, okay? This one must be all 90 degree here, you know. Uh, you draw, be careful, must be all 90 degree. Yeah? Uh, here also must be 90 degree one when you draw, okay? Go here, pan away from normal. Okay, another thing, sir, uh, in the deep water, right, the lambda become bigger. I don't know what is the purpose you do that. Huh? What are you trying to show here? Huh? Okay. You bend away from the normal. One thing you normal, you see a uh, direction changes, right? You also notice that the lambda become bigger. You see here, lambda bigger. Here the lambda smaller, right not? So the lambda here become bigger. So two differences. Huh? One is the direction changes. So the lambda in the deep water become bigger. Understand or not? Yeah. Okay. Uh, that's uh, finish our lesson today. We have finished discuss all the questions. Uh. Okay. Uh, what you need to do are uh, the paper. You must uh, print it out. Then you write down the answer on the paper. Uh. Understand? The paper you have to print yourself now. I cannot print for you all already. Okay. Because of no way I can follow that paper. The photo set shop all closed and also cannot see you all. You know, no way to pass the paper. So I hope your parents also will understand now. Huh? So try to get the paper to print out at home and then write down the answer. Huh? Okay. Right. Any more questions to ask here? Any question to ask here or not? Anyone want to ask any question? Huh? You, Kaiji, any question to ask? No. So you're no handsome, question. sir. Huh? You're very handsome. I say, la. don't say like that. La. We seen any question to ask? No. No, uh, okay. Evro, any question? Evro? No. No question. Okay, if no question now, uh, I think I will see you again next week. Uh. Next week, more probably, I will start a new chapter already. Uh, so please, uh, everyone come here with the, with the purpose of uh, study, uh, okay? You want to, to tell jokes or what, it's okay, okay, but don't be over, lah, huh? don't be overboard, uh, like disturbing uh, your teacher teaching is not good, uh, huh? okay, right, okay, so please take good care of yourself, so all you remember, you know, this is a time, uh, it's not holiday, you know, it's not holiday for you <laughs> all, you all must uh, continue to study at home, yeah, uh, your SPM question I want to tell you uh, won't be easy one at all. Now they postpone the exam to next year. Nah. 
Meaning that uh, they won't bring down the, the percentage, bring down the marks for you all. It give longer time for you to study already. Uh. So remember, this is not holiday. This is actually the study week for you all. You must study at home. Whatever your teacher asks you to do, uh, please uh, do it at home. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Uh. And last, I want to say thank you to everyone, those who come here, listen to me. Okay. I know most of you are very serious uh, listening to me, listen to learn something, right? Most of you are good students here. Uh, okay. So bye bye. I see you again next week. Uh. Okay. Thank you, sir. 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 Bye bye. Bye bye. Okay, bye bye, bye bye. Okay, bye bye. Hey, sir, send me your answer. Okay, I will I will put in the group lah, and also the video okay, will put okay, in the okay. YouTube. Huh? Okay, I know okay. some of you cannot okay. join tonight. Okay. The okay. answer I will I will send in the group lah. Okay. Okay, bye. Okay, bye bye. 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 Bye yeah, okay, bye bye. Thank bye -bye. you, sir. Yeah, bye bye. So, when is our exam? When is our exam? I mean, said everyone. Mid year, uh, mid year, no cancer already. No mid year. Huh? Again, ah? Uh? Okay, no. <laughs> Money test we cancer. So the mid year also we cancer. So, should we go for the trial? Uh? Yes. Okay, okay, okay. No time, uh -huh. no time. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Bye bye. 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 Hey, can I leave? Uh? Hey, wait. I can all leave. Uh. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Bye bye, bye bye. Yeah, bye bye.